No, I've never said what I'm about to say on national television. What? I'm questioning that man's blackness. I'm questioning that man's blackness. What the hell is wrong with Matt Judon? I've never met a black man that didn't like macaroni and cheese. I've never, I, look, look, look. I'm eating macaroni and cheese today. Do not listen to Matt Judon, ladies and gentlemen. Let me say this about Matt Judon. He's an exceptional football player. For sure. He's a difference maker on the defensive side of the ball for the New England Patriots. He's leading them in sacks. I'm, I respect the brother and all this stuff. <laughs> this is just a subject about mac and cheese. This is not a subject about his overall character. It's not a subject about his football ability or anything like that. But I, he, I, I mean, black men, we need to have a conversation with him. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know who the hell he think he is. You don't go on national television and tell people something that's blasphemous as that. You don't do that. Listen, we don't want the breadcrumbs. We could do without the breadcrumbs on top of the mac and cheese. To my sisters, the fam, excuse me, they know to have my mac and cheese ready. Oh, hell yes. We're going to have some mac and cheese. I'll be eating mac and cheese in about two hours. Yes, I'll be eating will. mac and cheese in about two hours. Let me tell you, I don't even understand how he could say something like that. And then if you don't like it, Obviously, you're odd. You're an aberration. You're yeah. abnormal. We get all of that. Because I'm telling you right now, I'm speaking on behalf of 99% of the black populace in this nation. We love some mac and cheese. <laughs> and we don't know what the hell is wrong with Matt Judah. We love some mac and cheese. Where the hell do you get off going in front of a podium, understanding the message is going to disseminate to millions upon millions of people, saying that, if you want to enjoy, you want to enjoy your meal. Don't make mac and cheese. Grandma's everywhere in the black community would would slap that band upside his head. That grandma would say, to "Come here, boy." Bow. Oh my God. You understand? Because you don't do that. Grandma, Listen, I'm not calling a boy. No. Grandma will call him a boy. You don't do that. Not, Jeff, I know you co-sign. You're from the south. <laughs> Listen, here's the crazy part. Man, my whole family loves mac and cheese. Yeah. I mean, it don't matter. Any, you have it at every, just about every meal. Any big meal always has mac and cheese. I do not like mac and cheese. Oh, I do God. not. I, I don't understand that, really? that everybody else loves it. It's a mac. I mean, that multiple people are bringing it. My kids, Molly, my kids yeah. for their birthdays uh -huh. would have me drive them to specific restaurants <laughs> specifically for mac and cheese. I'm like, man, I so y'all have you. lost your. I mean, I get, it. I can have it occasionally, but mm -hmm. like, no. I mean, and look, look. It, and listen, Stephen A. It's it ain't black and white on this one. I've never met, I've met very few people who don't love mac and cheese, but I am one of those people, man. Like, I ain't trying to, it, it, okay. I ain't trying to get okay. down with it. At every, least you admit you're weird. Green, At least you admit you're weird. Mashed potatoes. I'll take any of that over. Over the mac and cheese. Right. At least you admit you're listen, weird. Okay, we're, that's not a we're gonna move You're weird, okay? We're gonna move on. Look, I look, don't discriminate. Look, I eat every look, size look, there is. Listen, the palate, when it comes into your mouth, it just melts oh my in goodness. your mouth. Okay, I'm starving. I mean, starving. are you I kidding me? I, listen, I forgive you because you're a little bit weird. <laughs> But Matt Judon is on a different level. What's wrong with this brother? What is wrong with him? He's got, I'm all telling right, y'all right, right now, right. you talk, get approach this black football. people. He got to turn in his black card. Okay. I'm, tell, I'm saying it. Right. No mac Today, and cheese. Today, we are grateful not just for mac and cheese, some of us, but NFL games all day long. But on Christmas Day, we're also blessed with top NBA matchups. So, Jeff, which is better, NFL Thanksgiving or NBA Christmas? NFL, and, and it's not even close. I mean, look, like, I, I mean, we're talking about right now, we're having a whole show based on if a guy's going to get fired before or after a game, and they won three games, and they're playing an 0 for team, and it's still big news. We talk about how important one of 17 games is. And you talk about how, I mean, everybody watches football because you yeah. know the regular season matters. Mm -hmm. It is crucial to get buys. It's crucial to get in the playoffs. The parity in the NFL is such <laughs> a beautiful thing. When you think, when I think about the NBA, especially, especially on Christmas Day, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going on. You know, you're breaking out toys for the kids. Everybody's moving around. It's a busy time. It's like a, 
And you know, this is just a little, it's just a little show for the rest of it. It, it. it don't matter to the playoffs. The NFL, every regular season game matters. I love football and Thanksgiving. Ain't nothing better. Every family member knows it's a staple. It's a setup. To Stephen A., it's his mac and cheese for America, baby. Everybody sits down and watches ball on Thanksgiving as well as they should. Let me tell you something right now, man. You can sit up there and talk that nonsense all you want to. You know when 12 noon arrives, you're going to finish cooking. You ain't watching no daggone Lions games. Cut <laughs> to stop it. You know good and well you ain't watching the Lions games. So you're lying to the American public right there. You know the night yes, when I the will. Bills. You know the, the night when the Bills play the Saints. <laughs> you might watch the first quarter to see how Trevor Simeon does. And then when he shows you he's about to lose, you're going to turn the channel and watch some episode of something on, 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 on Disney Plus <laughs> or something like that. You know what you're going to do. So just stop it, okay? The bottom line is this. And, 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 and smart people. People ain't gonna want to watch the whole game for the Dallas Cowboys. All right, let me uh, tell you something right now. When I think about Christmas, yeah. let's just go with the Christmas lineup alone on the NBA. Okay, yeah. let's just go with that. All right, we got the Celtics against the reigning, defending NBA champions, the Greek Freaks, Giannis and the the Kumpo. Yeah. Okay, we got that going. We got my Knicks starting off there. Yeah. We got my Knicks starting Hawks off. Hawks are gonna get New again. York stand up. New York stand up. Rematch of the first round <laughs> yeah, of the playoffs. We yeah, got that going yeah, on, right? Had to turn around the first The time. Warriors and the Suns, the top two teams in the NBA <laughs> yeah. right now. That's, That's a, a five one. Eastern time game. Perfect. We got the KD against LeBron. Yeah. KD against LeBron, okay? The Nets at the Lakers, okay? We got that going on. And then we got Luka Doncic against Donovan Mitchell. I'm sorry. Let me tell you something right now. The one argument that Jeff Saturday had in his favor, uh -huh. obviously the NF NBA is 82 games. Yeah. Thanks, uh, football is 17 games now after years of being 16 yeah. games. So based on that reality, of course, it's an event because mm -hmm. you only play one game a week or for each respective team, and you only got 17 weeks of regular season action. Yeah. Fine. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.